So this is another one of my trying to do a blog, but I forget to do them. So I don't think I'm a blogger or destined to be a blogger. Just another talk about uh, Portugal, uh, Brazil, going to Brazil. Uh, don't let anyone ever say anything negative unless they've been to Brazil. First time I went to Brazil, all my friends were like, oh, you're going to get robbed. You're going to wake up and have no liver or kidneys. I don't know how you wake up when someone's took your liver or kidneys away. Um, but there's so much negativity surrounding Brazil. Brazil is no more intimidating than London. Obviously, you don't want to go into the favela because they're controlled by gangs. They can be very, very dangerous places. Um, even if you're with a Brazilian, I would not go into the favela. Not unless you look like a Brazilian. Um, even if I wear my shorts, my Brazilian football shirt, my flip-flops, people know I'm a gringo. Blue eyes. Well, where I have hair, it's dark hair. Uh, and Brazilians don't tend to go bald, so that sort of sends you out as some kind of Westerner. Um, they keep their hair. They're very lucky. I have not seen a bald Brazilian where his hair's receded and he's lost his hair. Um, you, um, you don't need to expect to pay much money in Brazil. You could budget for about £40 a day and live a very good holiday. Food is very cheap in Brazil. Beer is around, is less than £2 for a big 600 milliliter bottle. Um, a dinner for two of you in a semi-nice place, uh, that would be around £10. Uh, if you go to a more humble place, that would cost you about £5. But never ignore the humble places because sometimes the food is even better. Um, experience the food the food is amazing um it's not spicy they're very british they don't add chili to their food they have chili sauce on the table they don't make the food spicy uh you need to try chur churrasco if i've said that right brazilian barbecue that's an experience having to beg someone not to bring food to the table that's very un-english but you'll have a traffic light on the table. One side green, one side red. While you leave it green, they're going to keep bringing you food. When you're going to explode if you eat another mouthful, you turn it to red and they will leave you alone. Um, they always have massive salad bars. Remember, don't fill up on the salad bar. <laughs> You've just paid money to eat lots of meat. So pick up some potato salad or some little bit of salad. But keep room. You've paid to eat meat. Do not fill up on salad bar. Uh, if you go on a coastal area, the fish is amazing. It's always fresh. Um, clothes. I took English summer clothes to Brazil. I go to the northeast where it's about 31 degrees centigrade every day and the humidity is above 80%. I had to buy a whole new wardrobe. But like this t-shirt is better than any designer label. This t-shirt was... A Less than three pounds. Um, I would recommend buying your underwear in Brazil. They have this material which is similar to lycra. Um, and it means your body can breathe. Um, I recommend the underwear. Go to a good flip-flop shop and get yourself a pair of flip-flops. Flip-flops can be worn anywhere. And they're especially good on the beach. Um, when you're going to go in the sea. Just make sure you leave them a long way away from where the tide is coming in. Otherwise you will see your flip-flops floating back to England. Um, you can even go to the cinema because if it's the latest release from America, it tends to be subtitled into Brazilian. So you check. Google is the best place to check because it tells you on Google what, it, what films the cinema are showing. And it always tells you on Google if it's Portuguese subtitled. Or English subtitled. So those are today's recommendations. Make sure you stay hydrated. Drink lots of water. Also drink coconuts. Coconuts are like nature's rehydrant. So if you're sweating a lot, 
you drink a coconut, you get all your salts and your sugars back and it also hydrates you. You will feel so refreshed. So keep an open mind. Try things like coconut. Try, try things like acai. They sell acai as a frozen berry, a kind of smoothie. That brings your core temperature right down. So if it's a really hot day and you really are feeling the heat, stop. Have some acai. I guarantee you will feel better. It's unsweetened. It's not a nasty taste. I never add sugar to it, but you'll get an education in things if you watch Brazilians because they will put this yogurt -y stuff in it. They put fruit on it. They love their sprinkles and little bits of chocolate. And it's an eye opener how they decorate their acai. People in a Brazilian shops are always friendly. Um, ask for a sample. Keep your Google, <coughs> learn some Portuguese, but always keep your phone hidden but handy to use Google Translate to make yourself understood. <coughs> and that's it. But I would recommend learn some basic Portuguese before you go. And learn Brazilian, not European Portuguese. There are differences, even though a Portuguese person would argue. I found so far 10 words that are totally different. As an example, in Brazil they say ceviche. That's like a Brazilian for ice cream. In Portugal they say gelado. So you might not get understood if you learn too much European Portuguese. Try to learn from a Brazilian. Duolingo will teach you Brazilian as well as European Portuguese. They're two separate subjects. There you go. My second blog. I'll try and add another soon. Thank you.